What's up everyone, this is Bart and today I am back with another silk moth. My personal motto is another day, another moth. And uh, today we are back with a species of Saturnidae that came from Mexico. Presumably this is Automeris myonia. Although it has a very unique appearance, there's five or six other species that look exactly like this. Such as Automeris Wengseli, Automeris Frankai, Automeris Noguera, and I believe there are a few more, which names escape me for the moment. But today we are going to focus on this one. Um, this is what we would call the Automeris Myonia, if this identification is correct. I've heard that there are even a few undescribed species uh, of these Automeris hidden between this little cryptic group but um, today we are not going to get into taxonomy we are going to get into breeding they are wonderful little moths with very nice here golden stripes on their forewings and beautiful eye spots they have golden hairs on their thorax and a bright red abdomen can you see it? so overall this is a really beautiful species of automeris and I'm really really glad that I can show this on my channel today the people that want to breed this species can do so on willow. The caterpillars really like uh, willow. But it's also possible on other food plants such as oak tree. But I believe also beech and hazel. Um, that would be Fagus, Corylus, Quercus, Salix. And I'm not sure if they like cherry but I imagine they do because most Automeris species are quite polyphagous. And bramble may also be worth a try because a lot of Automeris they like bramble in my channel You've seen that last year. I raised a very big species that was bigger than my hand And I raised them on bramble. Well turns out that many species like bramble It's a species that I myself still struggle to breed although all my friends have called it easy uh, I have raised a few from egg to cocoon before but only with massive losses like 90% of the caterpillars died and this is very bad so I had to buy extra cocoons uh, to have extra adults this year otherwise I did not have enough to have a new pairing uh, anyways I hope this works out so if you have breeding tips for me please leave them in the comments if you are a, a person that has bred Automeris Maonia without massive deaths and losses then I'm interested in, you, in your uh, breeding method. Anyways, I would like to thank all of you for watching again today. I know not everyone who watches my channel lives in a country where it's legal to breed exotic animals. Or maybe breeding is not your hobby but you like to watch epic moths on YouTube. Then this video is exactly for you. Because it's a pleasure to film a species like this in high definition to be honest. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed. It's probably one of my f uh, top 10 favorite silk moths right here. I hope I get some offspring and I'm able to pair them. Hey, thanks and goodbye.